Welcome everyone to Unscripted Coding. Now a few weeks ago we built this which is a multi-bot chat group of course using AI chatbots. Uh, the story is very much inspired by uh, a number of different applications like Character AI or Silly Tavern where you can have a discussion with more than one chatbot. Um, so far, you know, most of the major players like Claude, ChatGPT, Gemini, you are having one-on-one -on -one conversations. I uh, am speaking with ChatGPT, asking it questions, it responds. But I have found that the idea of a group chat to be something that I latched on to multiple times in the past, and we have done that uh, through Silly Tavern, but also uh, trying to build uh, this doodad here. The problem is, one, I think the uh, keys are all dead, but the other problem is that it has been uh, just a little bit uh, wonky. It, uh, this was buggy and it was at a point where I wouldn't use it. So we're going to try a second kick at the can here uh, and, and try this one more time. Now, why can't I just use character.ai? Well, simply put, um, character.ai, as well as all the other implementations I've seen so far, you're really still engaging with one AI. And that means that... Um, if I go on character.ai, I set up a group chat. Uh, sure, let's go with Zeus, Athena, Poseidon, and I give it personas. Zeus, you know, you're the king of the gods, you're angry and you wield lightning. Athena, you're, you're wise and whatever. Um, but basically, you're feeding to the same model and giving it different turns. You are going, now you are Zeus, do this. Now you're Athena. What we're finding now with AI models is that uh, they are getting uh, better, of course, but they are getting better in different ways. Uh, certain models are really good at, say, language. Uh, Ch sorry, uh, Gemini 2.5 Pro has been leading in a few different areas, but uh, historically in web dev and in um, coding, Claude has done very well. I know Gemini does very well in other languages. Um, and you have other players as well. Uh, you know, you might want to use um, perplexity models because they have access to the internet uh, to, to do research. And the idea that has always been in the back of my mind is I wanted a group chat of people with different skills. Uh, here you can see a technical assistant, a conversationalist, a creative thinker, and that dynamic makes it very uh, much more interesting. It makes it so that um, you can have conversations where they excel in different things. Uh, very specifically, what I've noticed time and time again is that Gemini has been very, very good at legal work, but just quite terrible in accounting and numbers and things like that. That may have changed a little bit, but uh, Gemini has always been really, really good at law, which is the industry I work in. And so I have always wanted to do a multi-bot chat where I can have Gemini pretend it's a lawyer, um, open AI pretending that it is uh, marketing because it tends to be a bit more chill and uh, almost Gen Z-like in its responses. Um, and then Claude might be you know, a technical person. And being able to brainstorm with um, AI chatbots taking on roles like that is incredibly helpful. So uh, this first version was was glitchy. It was a bit ambitious. Um, I'm going to scale it down because I realize we are using Open Router anyways, and Open Router provides um, many different models. Um, sure, maybe at a later version I can connect directly to Gemini to OpenAI, but let's give OpenRouter a, a chance because uh, it certainly has a major one, so you can see Gemini 2.5 Pro. Um, no, 
all right let's sort by top um you'll have anthropic open ai gemini and a bunch of them <clears throat> and then you also have uh, many of the lesser known ones so i think wizard lm uh, sounds familiar oh no that's not it but there are a few that are really good at role play and um creative writing and and so on so those uh would be ones i might tap for marketing anyways um what i'm going to do is once again use klein to help us out and what I'm doing different this time is I'm using Gemini 2.5 Pro, uh, the March 20, uh, 25th, 2025 version, which has been doing a lot better in, um, in, um, coding than the previous version. So, uh, I wanted to give that a shot and see how far we go. Now I'm going to scale down one. I'm just going to use open router instead of connecting with a bunch of different interfaces. But number two, uh, I was going to go light on the whole, um, second model, trying to get it to determine, uh, who should speak next uh thing that i used to that, that i had so in this version i had an ai orchestrating everything so in between after every response it goes to a much smaller cheaper model to say who do you think should speak next is it the user is it gemini is it open ai and then i send it to the right person and then i send it to a right person okay so i'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna do just a bit of vibe coding very quickly Hello all, um, uh, that took a little longer than I thought. Uh, I had a bunch of problems. Uh, number one, I was being cheap and trying to use free models. So um, I kept running into a wall and, and quotas and things like that. So just bad idea. Why did I save like the 25 cents? 
Um, second of all, the, the new Flash model was actually really quite good. But um, before we get into that, check it out. We had this pretty ugly interface last time. This time around, we have quite a nice looking um, interface. And, um, you know, I've deliberately asked it to make it look a little bit like Discord. And uh, it nailed it. Uh, this looks really good. Let me show you guys very quickly how um, this works. Uh, if I refresh, uh, I have asked it to just very quickly create two default chatbots just to make it easy for me to, to test. But we can, of course, add our API key, but also add new bots. And so uh, I'm going to call this one Pikachu. Uh, you can only respond with Pikachu or variants of it, like Pika or Pika. And I'm just going to pick a completely different model from Open Router. And you know what? Uh, let's, let's go with Quen. Um, I, ooh, this is a, kind of an expensive one. So uh, let's go for something reasonably smaller. So go for a cheaper Quen model. We'll add the bot. And I'm just going to say, how is everyone? today. And so you're going to see that uh, creative writer obviously writes way too much and it comes back to me and I'm just gonna say why so quiet Pikachu and hopefully we get Pikachu to respond here and there there he is. Um, and so we can edit these and I could just remove the different bots and ha give them different personas along the way. Uh, this looks so much better and this actually works. Uh, most importantly, these are using paid models. So uh, the orchestration, I tried to cheap out with Gemma, but at the end of the day, I had to use uh, Gemini 2.0 Flash. Bit pricier, but still really quite a cheap model. Um, the rest of it, you could pick whatever you want. Um, I could go and find a really expensive model um, like Gemini 2.5 Pro or 04 High or whatever it may be. And we could start having much more rational, more impressive discussions. Um, but I'm actually surprised. I didn't think I was going to do orchestration. Um, and I keep saying that, so maybe I should explain what's happening. Um, just like before, every time I say anything, uh, it goes into a bot that determines who should speak next. And let me just say, please tell me a joke. When I click send afterwards, I get locked out until the orchestration thinks it's the user's turn to speak. Uh, that is a bit of a cheat uh, that makes it easier because in this case, uh, the previous version, I wanted to allow the user to interject at any time. Uh, it, you know, I should be able to just chime in in the middle. Uh, it caused all sorts of problems. So in this case, I am locked out. It's grayed out until until um until it's my turn again and so i think as i play with a few more kind of personas but also as i play more with um the models this is going to be a lot more helpful uh, i can certainly choose a more expensive model for the orchestration and i'm sure that uh, gemini 2.5 pro will do a much better job of it but i you want to get as low as you can without sacrificing the quality. I don't think it's all that much of a stretch just to throw the next person in line. Uh, the rest of it has been working quite well. Um, in this version, uh, there were times when Friendly was speaking like creative and I think things were getting mixed up. But in this case, uh, it has worked quite well. Um, 
and of course I jinxed it. So uh, the orchestrator does have a fallback uh, in the case where it um, fails to figure out who the next speaker is then it automatically defaults back to user. Now, in some ways, I could just remove this. Uh, this is a debugging tool, but um, I think it's useful right now while it's still buggy. Um, and so this time around, it worked. Pikachu, do you have a joke? And then, you know, Pikachu is limited in how it can respond. Um, but yeah, I am super pleased with how this turns turned out. It is way more usable and way prettier than this version. And so I think I might be building on top of this. Uh, some of the first things I'm going to do is just make sure that the default bots, uh, default bots are ones that I'm interested in. And so I've spoken repeatedly that I wanted a legal person, a marketing person, just a few of these kind of business people. Um, in my chat group. And then the next step is to figure out which models work best. So lawyers generally, Gemini works really, really well. And I noticed that um, that uh, Open Router now has these kind of rankings as well for different areas. So legal um, has different rankings, finance, health, trivia, academia, marketing, SEO. So I could use these uh, and, and create default bot bots that are useful and then throw more people in as it goes. Uh, we could get a lot more technical. I could throw, you know, saving chat history, all of that, but I don't think it's all that necessary. Uh, the other thing is I, I found this duplicative, so I might hide the configured bot into this area of who else is in there. And the last thing I wanted to do is change the colors. I don't, I, I saw an earlier version of this where um, the AI had changed colors, so uh, I'm always green, but there was orange, red, and uh, potentially other colors as well. I don't like that they're all orange. Uh, Maybe it makes sense. Bots are always orange. Um, but yeah, I am not going to walk through the code. I It's not all that long, but I don't think the quality is all that great. It's just right now it works. Um, and I might ask Gemini Pro, uh, the newest one, just to refactor and simplify it in the end. Uh, there's only 500 lines of code or so, so it's quite simple. But do remember there's a lot of CSS as well, another 400 lines or so. Okay, so um, I'm going to call it a day and call this one a success. Last time we kind of barely squeaked through, but uh, this time around it's something I can use. So thanks for watching, and I will see you all later next week. Bye.